I have condoms and lube. <laughs> Oh Lord, it's too soon for Foodie Beauty to be dating. Girl, sit your ass down somewhere. Good morning, good morning, good morning, period. Welcome back to Chef Leftovers channel again, y'all. If you are new to the family, make sure you hit the subscribe bell. Oh, <laughs> make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. Not only that, please make sure you go follow my TikTok. My Instagram, they're both at Chef Leftovers. But as usual, I'm going to leave all that in the description box below for you lazy suckers out there who don't feel like typing the shit in. You just click it, boom, and there you go. You found me. All right, y'all. We got some interesting to talk about. Now, I'm going to be eating my little breakfast in between. Um, I just wanted to throw this out to y'all before we started. I am down 13 pounds. Period. Okay. Um, I got on the scale after my workout yesterday. I was 243 pounds. 243? Yeah. 243. Um, I was supposed to meet up with you back then. You were the hot guy from Dubai. I was like, so we're good to go then. <laughs> and I wrote, haha, I have condoms and lube. <laughs> but. And then I, as a joke, and he's like, I'm not even thinking about that. Right, LOL. Um, just thinking about you and us being together. Oh, wow. I like that more. Haha. -ha. And I do. I like that more. Booty beauty, y'all. We back on her again. So she is trying to set up a date. Or we're trying to set up a date. Okay. For the hot Dubai guy. I don't know what it is with her and he's foreign men something about foreign men y'all just turns her all the way on <laughs> remember i love my my foreign men i love my arabs i love my i love all them they is cute but girl sit your ass down somewhere you just got out of a relationship but you're still kind of in love with the man and you're already on to the next piece of meat focus on your channel you've already lost your youtube okay Focus on whether you're going to get that back or focus on how you're going to start making money. Because time is, is speeding up. It's coming up on us, okay? You're going to be very upset if you spend your time with this man that's ghosting the hell out you. <laughs> Baby, I don't have time for that. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get money in the streets. You know, I think she needs to sit back. Sit back, take some time off from the dating scene, especially when you've got out of a abusive relationship. We all know that when you get out of or any kind of relationship, it is best that you take time for yourself. Don't get me wrong, boo, still have fun, but you need to take time. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> But, okay, so this guy is, is explaining to her he doesn't want sex. He just wants to be with her. Now, he went out of his way because she blocked him. She's blocked him in a chat. But he goes out of his way to DM her and stuff. Um, but he's saying that he don't want to have sex with her. He wants to bond, basically. She saying she liked that, too. No, but, but you just said you brought Connor, you, you bring Connor some lube. How you bring Connor and lube to a chill? Okay, that's like me going to work with Connor some lube. And I'm expecting to just work. Or, or I'm going to the sauna. Then No, we won't say work. We'll say I'm going for a massage. I'm going to relax and chill. But I bring Connor and lube. You only bring condoms and lube when you're expecting something more. She's expecting something more, y'all. But anyway, she claims she's down for just the chill vibes. She may be because, only because, he doesn't want a car. But the second he pulls it out and says, let's get to the nitty gritty, oh, baby girl gonna be down for the ride. And I know she is. Especially if she's hot. That's all I gotta say on that portion of it, y'all.
I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm being, I might actually be in the middle of ghosting, being ghosted right now. <laughs> but this person was like, you know, I blocked them and they made an effort to reach out to me and be like, we've been talking for like a year. We never met up. Why don't we like, we both need this, you know, so let's just like get a hotel or like, I'll get a hotel. Or, like he said that, like, I'll get a hotel and let's just have a good night. We both need this. It's Mr. Dubai. He's like, I'm not even thinking about sex or nothing. I just like just hanging out together is what I'm thinking about. So as long as there's no pressure to like have sex, I'm going to be clear about that because I'm not, I don't think I'm ready to like share my body with someone else right now. Define what she means by pressure to have sex. Does she mean somebody to ask her over and over again? Or does she really mean if he flips that third leg out, that's, you know, temptation, that's pressure. Everybody's pressure to have to have sex is different. You know, for me, if I don't want to have sex and you pull it out, that's not pressure. Because I, I didn't want it anyway. But if you keep asking, asking, and asking, and different things, you're asking, oh, just some hit, or just some this, or let me just, blah, 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 blah. No, that's pressure for me. That's pressure. So I want to know what she means by pressure. Because her face is glowing, y'all. And... She don't need this in her life right now because if it doesn't work out the way she wants it to work out it's going to add more stress more frustration more humiliation stop putting every detail of your life online for us to talk about <laughs> i'm gonna talk about it but i can tell in her face y'all she's very very excited and very happy and i feel bad for foodie beauty right now because i know how it feels to be into somebody and they not be into you or they are playing games all of a sudden, can't make it, can't hang out, can't do this, something came up. Something always the fuck came up. So I know how it feels to be in this euphoric happiness. And all of a sudden, boop! <laughs> I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be, to be brought all the way up here and put you on this pedestal like you're just the world and then you're brought back down to earth. Flat on your face, you know? So I think in my opinion, if I was her, I wouldn't put anything out like this right now, especially with what's going on with her and Nader. I wouldn't put anything out like that. I would keep it between me and that person. You've already made the mistake of putting a person on social media. And then you want to backpedal. Now you got all these fans and these women after him. You know, and I have this option to pick. You don't want to do the same thing to this man. You want to keep them to yourself. Now, I'm not saying don't talk about them, but at least wait till after you hang out. Surprise the fuck out of us, okay? Go hang out with this man, have the best time of your life, and then come tell us the tea. Or have the worst time of your life, and then tell us, hey, this sorry sucker here. You know what I mean? You can't predict the future. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen, but you can save yourself from some humiliation. That's, and that's all I, I gotta say on foodie. I just wanna say thank you to everybody in the YouTube streets, period. We are at 1,004 followers, y'all. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I appreciate the love and the support from everybody. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe bell and the notification bell so you know my, each and every time I upload a video. Go follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that chef leftovers. But again, as always, I will leave that in the description box below. Thank you for chilling with me, y'all. I'm getting to work because I'm at work right now. I'm getting to work. I ain't clocking yet, but I'm about to clock and get to work. So, as always, stay blessed, stay motivated, and stay positive. Bye.